All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how I got a free gaming PC. Hopefully, these steps will be helpful if you also want to embark on this journey, but no promises and your results may vary. So I used to play a lot of games on old CAD workstations. As you can find these things all over the internet on eBay, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace for next to nothing once companies dump their leases. I personally like to stick with the Dell Precision line, and so as I was honing in on my search, uh, I found a pretty crazy deal on a bare bones machine for 120 bucks. So that's with the CPU cooler, motherboard, power supply, and chassis. So I added this to my cart and kept browsing. As I was looking through other components, uh, I happened to find a completely built out workstation with two GPUs. And so I started to think, well, what if I bought the pair? So then each machine would have a GPU. And then I bought some other used components to kill the other system so it also ran. You know what? Yeah, that sounded pretty good. And then to try to sell that second workstation for more than my total to build the pair. So therefore I would have a free one on the way out, besides your time, of course. But for some, you know, free components, hey, why not give it a shot? So I ended up buying both of those and sure enough, the one that was completed did power. So I started taking components from that one, along with some other components I purchased on eBay to make it all happen. So here is my build list. Most of these components I ended up getting on eBay, and at the very end of this, you'll see a chart with the price breakdowns. So I used almost all these components in this calculation except for two. Apparently with the Dell Precisions, if you use their internal Flex Bay PCIe header, you can actually get greater throughput than you can with the actual PCIe lanes. Um, I don't know why Dell does this, but unfortunately if you want the maximum out of it, you have to configure it as such. So here's my build list with our total being $969.51. I'm using that total basic number as the other two components I'm not including in one of those just for extra speed. So here it is, the bare bones machine. So after getting that Xeon for right around $14 shipped, which is a pretty crazy deal for a four gigahertz CPU, I'm gonna remove the CPU cooler housing, the CPU cooler, install some RAM, then the CPU. So here's our RAM, nicely packaged. You find amazing deals on RAM. Let's throw our 14 terabyte hard drive in there. The other fully completed workstation also came with a 500 gig drive, which I'm not using in this bare bones machine as I plan to keep the bare bones build. So I'm also putting my other four terabyte drive in there um, that I had and kept from another system. Put the front bay cover on. You're all looking fine and dandy. Let's remove that CPU cooler, inspect the socket, and throw a CPU in there. So come to my surprise opening this one up, uh, a few of the pins were bent, uh, which is kind of sad. I reached out to the seller on eBay and he was very receptive and basically said that I'm welcome to try to bend them back or I can request and he will send me another motherboard for the machine. So as much as I hate e-waste, uh, I ended up opting to bend the pins back. So here's the second completed precision workstation. So this one has 16 gigs of RAM, two of the Radeon Pro graphics cards, a 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive, yes, very slow, and a quad core 3.6 gigahertz CPU. So with all these extra components taken out of the other station, let's bend these pins and throw these components inside the bare bones workstation. Bending the pins back seemed to work okay, and so I figured, let's put the CPU in there. Make sure you give it a good clean before you apply an ungodly amount of thermal paste, which I did right here. 
I don't really recommend that, and I really wasn't sure what I was thinking when I did this. Probably I was expecting the pins to not work correctly and to have to take it off again and just want it to go crazy. Once you're centered, screw those screws down. Let's throw in our Wi-Fi card and our GPU. After slapping your wireless card in there and also your GPU, you're ready to connect this thing to power and start to load Windows. Already I had my FlexBay adapters put in here with my terabyte NVMe drive, and as I'm not including those in the total because I wanted the extra speed, uh, I did not show that here. So I basically assumed, because both of these were used in a professional environment, that they would have valid Windows 11 licenses licensed to the motherboard, and sure enough they did. So already got an OS there, life is good. I did a VIOS update and a vBIOS update, and basically we're ready for the races. So I ended up taking a bunch of pictures and writing a small description before posting it on Craigslist. This thing sold shortly after posting for $980, covering my complete total of parts, thus giving me a free gaming computer. So down the road for something like this, you could always put a different GPU in there or some other components to help with the speed. But from my experience with the 4 gigahertz quad core, uh, this thing seemed to cut games just like a hot knife through butter. Anyways, uh, if you're willing and daring to try this, uh, I'd say go for it. Your results may vary, but for me, it ended up working out. Thanks for watching.